All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a little too long. It's time for me to complain about a specific thing in Battlefield 2042. Uh, not because I want views, but because I got really annoyed today. And I actually played Exodus Conquest in Battlefield 2042 for the first time in a long time and had more fun than I've had uh, in Battlefield 2042 in Breakthrough in a very long time. Breakthrough in Battlefield 2042 is, in fact, complete garbage, and we'll be going over why. I've been frustrated with the way Battlefield 2042 Breakthrough plays for the longest time, and I've always really wanted to make a video like this, but today really confirmed it for me. Because when I was playing Exodus Conquest, I couldn't believe the difference in gameplay. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, we're very close to 40k, and let's just get right into this. So, Breakthrough in Battlefield 2042. Why do I think it's so garbage, even though I play it so much? Well, I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. I was kind of stuck in my old ways. I go, oh, you know, Conquest in this game is terrible, why do I play it? Then I actually played it, Exodus Conquest to be specific, not the actual 128 player Conquest. And I just enjoyed it so much more. Now, why did I enjoy it so much more? I just think it flowed a lot better. The maps were more fun to play on, like Valparaiso Conquest, I think might be the most fun uh, Conquest map in the entire game. And the number one thing for me that made it more enjoyable was the fact that I didn't have to worry about getting on defense for the 15,000th time in a row. I kid you not, and anyone that watches my stream, please vouch for me in the comment section. I am in no way exaggerating when I say I play defense on Breakthrough between 75% and 85% of the time. No BS. And do you know what that is, ladies and gentlemen? It's because people know that defense is terrible, and you have squads of people that will queue infinitely until they get a game starting on attacker. So every single time you queue for breakthrough, the attacker slots are full before the defense slots are full. And this is especially bad for me because I don't typically play with people. When I stream, when I play, it's typically me with maybe one other person or I'm solo. So the defender slots are wide open for me to join, but there's no room on the attacking team. And God forbid if you're on the opposite end of a stack on defense in Breakthrough because you're about to have one of the quickest games of your life. I am not kidding when I say I have had sub five minute games in Breakthrough defense. You can't do a single thing. And don't even get me started about the sector design in Breakthrough. Let's talk about the fact that they've changed the exposure breakthrough layout about five times with nobody complaining about the layout at all. And the funniest part is, every single time they change the layout and exposure, it gets worse and worse. If you guys know about breakthrough sectors, you will know that the last sector on exposure breakthrough, specifically the point within the bunker, is one of the worst points in the game. And it didn't even used to be like that. They actually moved the point on the last sector of exposure breakthrough from the top of the plateau to down in that little tiny bunker. And that's just one example. There are many more examples. For instance, let's give a recent example. The second and third sectors on breakaway breakthrough. The second sector on breakaway breakthrough. I have fucking rage quit that so many times I don't even want to talk about it. It is essentially just an icy pit of death. If you are stuck at the bottom of that sector on defense, I'm not kidding, the best option is to completely leave the server. You are not going to have fun at all. It is almost impossible to get up to where the attackers are shooting you from, way up on those icebergs, without dying because you have to take open zip lines that they have full line of sight of for the entire duration of that fucking sector. Then if you thought it couldn't get any worse, you were sadly mistaken. The third sector is also terrible on Breakaway Breakthrough. It's on the oil rig. It has oppressive verticality. You have to somehow manage to, to survive traversing 150 meters of open sea ice. Uh, then you have to survive taking an open zip line up to the open deck of the oil rig where people are going to shoot you from that oppressive verticality. Good luck. And I can go on and on and on about specific sectors on specific maps, but you guys get the point now. The sector design in this game's breakthrough is nothing short of uh, just terrible. And then to make matters even worse, the developers thought it was a wonderful idea to put sectors in the game that have uneven vehicle spawns. There is a sector in the game where the attackers get two condors and the defenders get a jeep. What is, like, what are you doing? 
open your eyes. I don't understand how you could possibly ever implement anything that terrible into a game. You're giving the, the, the attackers the ability to essentially fly over the entire map, spam spawn people, and kill them with a grenade launcher, and you're giving the defenders, what, a jeep? You must be out of your mind. At least in Conquest, it's jet versus jet, heli versus heli, tank versus tank. It's not this completely mismatched garbage that you see all the time in Breakthrough. And some of you might be commenting down below like, okay, well, you're complaining about all this stuff. What solutions do you have? They you know, that's a fair point. You know, to the vehicles, just make it even, right? That's my simple solution to that. Either just make it even or put some counters in. Maybe if you want to give one team a super hind, give the enemy team an AA gun. What? <laughs> wow. I mean, that's just revolutionary thought by me. Then, as far as my solution to the balance, I legitimately don't know what you can do about it. This game is not going to give you a server browser. It's not like an admin can move people for balance. It's not like there's a team switch option. So, I don't honestly know how you stop people from spam queuing until they get attack to specifically roll servers. I don't think you can actually fix that. So all in all, I'm absolutely going to be playing less Breakthrough, and I'm going to be playing more Exodus Conquest whenever that game mode is available. I've just been having an absolutely horrific time in Breakthrough recently, and please comment down below. Do you agree with me? Have you had the same experiences? I cannot be the only one, because I see 31 teammates that I play with every single game get absolutely rolled on defense while I'm in the same server. So there has to be more people out there. I know some people might not like the rant videos, but here's the thing. I'm authentic, right? I'm not going to sit here and make like, oh, you know, hi, guys. That's not what I do on this channel, right? Every once in a while, you're going to get a really pissed Enders video, all right? That's just how it is. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're very near uh, to 40K, and hopefully they do something with Breakthrough very soon, or I'm not going to play the game mode much anymore. That's how that is. Uh, I'll see you guys later.